I'm so honored and grateful to be here speaking to this incredibly powerful, radical, audacious community of people who are choosing to, you know, make this radical act of staying lucid and awake and, and, and sober through a world that says no, numb, distract, you know, right. as, the, as the norm of living. And so I just want to take a moment to applaud all of our audacity and radicalness to choose to do life a little bit more awake, a little bit more lucid, a little bit more intentional, you know, because the moment that I would be asked to come back into my body and to really be present and to just examine and observe what was going on in my body, you know, all the feelings, all the emotions that have not been processed, were going to make themselves available and known to me. We forget that all these challenging memories that we have, have these hardwired feelings in the body. You know, they have these really emotional baggage. It's still with us, you know? And one big thing that the somatic embodied healing work has brought to me is the idea that it's not about engaging with the intellect and engaging with our memories and talking about it and conceptualizing and doing all that stuff as a gateway to engage with what's happening in the body, in the feelings, instead entering the body, letting go of the feelings. And then naturally the way we relate to our memories would change, not the other way around. Does that make sense? It totally does. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's all this like talking approach wasn't actually doing the job that I needed, which is to actually remove the emotional baggage up and out of my body in order for the members to not have power over me anymore, you know? Right. So through this work, I was like, okay, cool. I finally understand what's missing. It's me actually going into the bottom-up approach, which is engaging with the feelings, engage with the emotional residue of the trauma, the emotional residue from the past experiences. And by engaging with it long enough, you know, with intentionality, with the moves, with the breath, with all the practices that, I, that I've been teaching for years, but just in a different way, in a more, in a deeper way, I should say, then the members would lose power. Uh, not that they would be gone, but they wouldn't have the emotional charge. They wouldn't set me off in an in a inflammatory spiral of, of more shame, more guilt, more blame, more all that stuff. This is Lynn Fraser with the Radical Recovery Summit airing January 13th to 22nd, 2023. Please go to RadicalRecoverySummit.com to view the clips and the interviews.